We've done a, a lot of movie-based games, and prior to doing Scarface, The World Is Yours, you know, we did The Thing and Chronicles of Riddick Escape from Butcher Bay. Uh, and I think every time you're starting off with a movie-based game, you know, you sort of start out with one arm tied behind your back because there's just a perception that movie-based no. games suck. And, you know, look, I mean, the reason why I like working on movie-based games and that's pretty much all we've done okay. in the last six years uh, is because, you know, it's a challenge to us that we view, you know, adapting games from other mediums as a challenge and a fun challenge. And we're really lucky to work with Universal who, you know, whether it was The Thing or Riddick or Scarface, will always allow us to take risks and chances to create better games. Yeah, I mean, I think one of the important things for us when doing Scarface as an open world game is that not only do we have all the locations, you know, if there's a location from the film, it's in the game, uh, whether it be, you know, the mansion or, you know, the Coconut Grove uh, outdoor bar area or the Babylon Club or the Sunray Motel or Sosa's Mansion. And that list goes on and on and on. Um, not only do you get to go and see those places, but you understand the relationship, the distance between one another. Uh, and so by seeding all of those location-based stuff and then adding all of these characters that are also from the film or referenced from the film, we're allowed to create a new, uh, different extension of that Scarface universe. You know, Tony says, all I have in this world are my balls and my word, I don't break them for nobody. Uh, and so we took that idea of, you know, intestinal fortitude and the more, you know, strategic you are in terms of how you shoot and use combat, the more balls you get. When your balls meter is full, you're allowed to go into blind rage. And what we do in blind rage is it's, it, was, it, it came from that idea of Tony's on the top of the, the balcony at the last scene. He's all coked up. He's fucking pissed off. He's shooting everybody. Um, that blind rage of just sheer, like he's unstoppable. He's getting hit by bullets and nothing stops him. And we wanted to put that into the game as a major gameplay element, not just as a little niche thing, but as a major component. So when the player finally builds his balls up, goes into blind rage, several things happen. One, we jump into first person. That's a drastic change for most open world games. Uh, in addition to that, we make the player completely invulnerable. We give him unlimited ammunition with whatever gun he's holding at the time. And then we allow the player to shoot people and gain health for each person they kill. I think one of the things that when you're looking at this big open world, it's gotta feel alive. And one of the things that Tony gets to do as he goes through the game is he buys you know, different um, businesses and operations. He can buy you know, the pawn shop and the record shop and hotels. And as he's accumulating properties and taking over turfs, uh, eventually he has to do distribution missions where he drops off, takes cocaine, runs it in on a boat from the island, avoids the pirates trying to steal his money and his drugs. Then he's got to get into the port of Miami and avoid, uh, avoid the Coast Guard, sort of stealthily navigating between the Coast Guard boats so he can bring the you know drug supply into his warehouse. Once he gets to the warehouse, he then is allowed to do a distribution mission where he drives all the way through Miami, dropping off stuff at each front. The one trick to that is, as he's doing that, other gangs or other rival drug lords will attack Tony's turfs. And so we allow the player to go in and fortify each turf. They can buy surveillance cameras so that they're alerted to the fact that their front is getting attacked. They can go in and hire up to you know five or six different goons that protect that turf. So if your turf is getting attacked and you're on the middle of a $15 million drug distribution run, you have to make a decision. Do I go save that turf? or do I you know, let it get taken over? And it's about that strategic play balance. And that's something that we tried to do because it's like, you haven't seen it in an open world before. One of the key differentials between Scarface and other open world games is that in Scarface, we, one of the things that we took out of was the load time. When you want to walk in and out of uh, different establishments, in other open world games, there's always been that little pause of load. So you have a 50 hour game experience and like 10 of it is taken up by loading in and out of buildings. Scarface, you walk seamlessly in and out of buildings. We don't have that load time. Uh, we wanted to get rid of that going back there methodology of gameplay, which is really just about, you know, trying to add time to your overall play experience. Fuck that. We wanted you to get in the limo and be like, I own a store. I can get taken to any store I own. You can buy the float plane and the float plane will automatically transport you 
to any dock in the entire open world, whether it be in the city or in the islands, and you can fly back and forth, and it's a quick boom. There's just a, a quick load, and then boom, you're there. We don't make the player have to run around and drive there. Why? Because it's not being Tony Montana that way. If you want you know, a, a gun upgrade, you just pick up your satellite phone. If After you buy the arms dealer, you can then you get a menu. What would you like to buy? You purchase whatever you want. Then you want to get it transported to you. You just call one of your drivers. He brings you a car. You pop open the trunk. There's all your ammunition. There's all your weapons. You can trade them in and out of the trunk. It's all about having the world come to Tony as opposed to Tony being the bitch of the world. We want to make sure that uh, that experience that we're giving to the player is about gameplay and the fun of gameplay and not having to do the ridiculous driving back and forth missions.